Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be working with the November 2016 hip kits. And today I have something a little different um, than my normal. This is a sketch that we are doing for um, a sketch challenge over on the Facebook forum um, for the hip kits. And I am going to jump in here, I'm going to show you what products I'm going to be using um, for this layout. I'm going in and I'm going to use Let It Snow, and this is a Hip Kit Club exclusive paper designed by Kim Watson. And then I showed you guys a cut file um, at the beginning of this <laughs> video, and this is what I came up with. I just blew it up in my Silhouette Studio, and I really wanted to use a snowflake, so that's the cut file I used in the beginning of the video. And then this is some vellum, and I'm going to use lots of vellum on this layout. These are Hip Kit Club chipboard pieces. Um, this is Pink Fresh Studio washi tape, Hip Kit Club washi tape, Hip Kit Club puffy stickers, and American Craft thickers. So those are just some of the products I'm going to be using on this layout. And let's just jump into this. So I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, cut off my branding strip here. And I save my branding strips um, for other layouts because you just never know when you need like an extra piece of different pattern paper or different color and those are great ways to incorporate that. Okay, so I'm going to zoom in here and I'm going to start in. I'm just going to kind of show you my idea of how what my take is on the sketch and how I'm going to lay things out and just to give you an idea. Those cards are Project Life cards, and I just um, stacked them up just to give it a layering effect behind my photo. And I like um, the cut file because it really breaks up the background and the photo, and it just gives it some interest. And I showed you there I'm using the Snow and Cocoa paper. I forget what the paper is called, but it's just one of the pattern papers in our kits. And I just made a bunch of rips in the paper. That's the ephemera pieces and they're snowflakes and that's from the Hip Kit Club exclusive ephemera pack designed by Kim Watson too. Okay, so now I'm going to go in and I'm just going to start gluing everything down. And I really like how this vellum breaks up the background and it kind of um, gives it a different color at the bottom there. It just lightens up the gray. So I really like that because it really gives it some interest. And I'm going to go in and I'm going to pop up some of my snowflakes and add some thread for some texture and some different coloring um, for my layout. So I love doing that. I love incorporating thread. And I go in with a lot of the snowflakes. Just couldn't help myself. They were very pretty. I just, I just kept going with them. And I think <laughs> I can just keep going with them, but had to stop myself. But I love these little clusters. Okay, this is sequins that we got in our um, one of our kits. And I love this because it just gives your layout just a little twinkle. And I like that when I look at, you know, snow, I think of, you know, little twinkles and crystals in the snow. So, okay, so for my title, um, I looked through the crepe paper ephemera pack and there was a little saying that said so much fun and I thought oh what if I put snow much fun um, and I really liked that so I just went with it and I really I think it turned out great I really like how it turned out so and I love using those thickers from American Crafts they really sparkle and they are just perfect and I thought maybe I need some washi tape down there at the bottom of my photo, but I decided not to do that. Okay, so this snowman, he's a puffy sticker from the Hip Kit Club, and I thought about putting him over here, but, you know, when I look at my layout, I really want to keep the main focus on my photo, so putting that snowman over there on the right really draws the eye over there, and I really don't want that. I want my photo to be the focal point, so I'm going to keep my snowman right tucked in there, right behind the snowflakes. So, and it fit perfect right there, and I think it looks great. But I think it's really good to always mess around and see where you like things, um, just to get a feel for, 
you know, what feels right for you. Um, so yeah, and I'm going to add some more vellum up here at the top. And again, I'm keeping the sketch in mind when I am doing this layout and just incorporating the same things kind of in the sketch. So I like that because it's incorporating more of the vellum and more of the paper that is on the bottom. And then I thought maybe I should go in with this washi tape there at the bottom of the photo or the layout, but I decided against that too. Okay, so these are the Hip Kick Club word phrase stickers, and I really like these stickers um, just because I feel like it tells more of the story when it comes to your layouts or your project life or like your art journal. Um, it just tells more of the story besides just your title. And it's just loving words and fun words, and I just really like that. And we got a bunch of them in our kits this month, and I just love it. I could just go crazy with these and put them all over my layouts. But um, this one says Winter Wonderland, which I feel is very fitting for my layout because um, it really was. It was snowing like crazy, and my kids were just having a blast. I'm going to add some more of the sequins up there. Okay, now I'm just kind of gluing everything down, making some more, putting some more sequins down. Just add little touches here and there. And then I'm going to go in with some more thread and put it right behind my photo just to incorporate more color and more texture. So I added some pink thread there just to break up the blue there. And then I have that little tag there It says 21. It really doesn't mean anything, but it does incorporate the pink color that I have going on in the layout already. And I'm saying bye, but then later on I decided to come back and I needed something at the bottom there. So I'm going to rip up some more of that pattern paper from Crate Paper. And then I'm going to just go in with some more vellum too. And I'm just going to keep making like these snow banks and just um, layering up that bottom part right there just to break it up. And I thought maybe there was just too much gray going on. Um, and so by doing this, it really broke up, you know, the bottom half from the top half and um, covering up a lot of that gray. And I, I'm really glad I did this because it brings in just more color and more interest for the page. So I fiddle with that um, for quite a while just to get the layers right. But I hope you guys like this um, sketch challenge. Let me know in the comments below if you guys like it. Um, and if you guys join in on the fun, make sure you tag the Hip Kit Club and post it on our Facebook form because we do give away prizes for... Um, people that, um, you know, upload their layouts or share their layouts with us. So definitely go over there and check that out. If you guys check me out on Instagram, on my blog, and on Facebook. And yeah, leave me comments. If you have any questions, um, feel free to leave them below. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.